guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 3 of We Crossed Diva Live. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Diva's TV. Oh, she's cute! <laughs> Well, where's no limit at? No limit at the bottom of the list? No limit. Of course, and you get your butt handed to you. why especially when I saw the trailer for this I was expecting not only still battles of course because it's we cross but I think I was also expecting like idol-esque because I mean like they kind of, have they done that before or not really like we cross but more of like an anime from another studio that has done here's an idol but then we also fight I don't know. I can't really think of any right now. Okay, you're in the middle. Please tell me it's not that. Oh, okay. So then who who knocked them down? The dis is like Machina? Oh, I don't know. You are so positive. You know, I do kind of like how she uses the We Cross cards as, like, fortune-telling. I think that's interesting. Yeah. 
It's the heat of this to win the battle to pay attention to the move to. <laughs> so then what kind of deck should you girls use instead? You forgot that you have exams? Oh my god. He knew that. Oh my god. There's no way that she can get a really good score by tomorrow. He can do it. You just help <laughs> hire them with their studies. <laughs> So this is how you two met. Oh, so she like Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Except she ain't, you gotta, you ain't gotta assemble pieces of her, thank God, but hey, whatever floats your boat. Why is Aki so cute? She's so adorable. Let's hope so. Oh, 
Oh my god. Child. Hanana. <laughs> I don't think so. I think she chose it because it's powerful. Mm. But Ray. Mm. You don't know, it's not about what you like sometimes. Mm. Lucky, you don't have to if you don't want to. Something tells me she is going to take it out, but then at the same time, I don't think she is. I think there's going to be a point where she's going to seem very confident later on in the battle. She might hesitate, but something's coming. Hmm? Are you still asleep? <laughs> something tells me Aki might have to take the leadership role if, okay cause like let's say Hanuna you know ends up falling asleep again or something I think no, because like Ray would be next in line and then Aki would be. Didn't that just seem a little too easy, though? Mm. Mm. Nah, she gonna block that.
Of course that got blocked. have one left. Did you put it in? Oh, God. But it might save you, though, right? Nah, because something tells me when you three attack, that's when she's going to use it. That's a little unfair, but of course. That's it.
way. <laughs> no. Hmm? Is she asleep? <laughs> went like What is it? They adorable though. I don't know. I mean, it just felt like, you know, in the last few minutes of Mika P making an appearance and everything, that she kind of was half assing with that apology to them. But I, I think, you know, honestly, the script was interesting. I think guessing what they're kind of doing with this show, every group that um, No Limit goes against, we're going to get a unique opening. I mean, not opening ending song and such i think it's good i mean the like once again this was a good episode love the fact that aki and ray i mean yeah right got like the main focus of this episode because like for the last two weeks it's really kind of been a more of um hiruna even though i like her as well but sometimes you know when you watch a show and it feels like it's been forever even though this is only episode three which is crazy um, it feels like the main characters are getting a lot more focus than the secondary characters who are just as important as the main. And then finally you get an episode on them and they're able to, you know, get that character development. I mean, especially with Aki, because at first I really thought, you know, once Ray said something to her that, of course, she was going to take it out. But he ended up putting it back in, indicated that, yes, yeah, she does trust Aki and no matter what, she's going to defend her at the end of the day. If Haruna thought it was a good move, and even Aki possibly thought it was a good move, you know, in the, like, halfway through part of the episode, maybe, um, even though Ray was like, no, I don't think it's a good move, but still, I mean, yeah, she took it out, but, you know, I was like, no, I'm putting it back in. And, it, you know, it served their pur its purpose, and it did well for them, and I'm glad. I just think, you know... Something tells me that the Dexas X Machina group, of course, they're not going to battle them until, like, the end of this series. Probably so, like, episode 12 or 13, however many episodes the show is going to get. I'm not 100% sure, because, like I said, this is only week three. Um, but yeah, it was nice. Kind of makes you wonder who else Mika P is also producing. Something tells me that Dexas X Machina is one of them. I feel like maybe she might want to talk to No Limit because of the fact is, yes, they did do good in that battle and any other battle that they've been in and it would make the most sense. But really, you know, we got to wait until find out. Um, or I feel like the girl who owns the shop who was doing the fortune telling with the We Cross cards 
might secretly be a producer. I don't really know. I mean, because she, she seems interesting, but it seems like there's something that we don't really know about her yet, and we're not going to possibly see it until the second half, but who knows. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode three of We Cross Diva Live. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for episode four. Bye, guys.